Good evening, we are anonymous, and we are the White Rows. Love and Truth. If you are a Christian, these two words should be with you always. The Holy Bible, the Gospel according to John, 1334, a new commandment I give to you, that you love one another, as I have loved you, that you also love one another. And 8 31 and 32, then Jesus said to those Jews who believed him, If you abide in my word, you are my disciples indeed. And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. It is pretty simple, if you love, you learn the truth and become a true Christian by following the new commandment of Jesus Christ. So, obviously in the adverse, it can be said that if you do not love, you do not learn the truth, neither do you follow the commandment of Jesus Christ, which means you are not a Christian. Those who claim to be Christian, yet refuse such commandment, who do not love one another as Jesus Christ loves them, are therefore false, or fake Christians. These are people using the good quality of a religion, to hide their non-Christian beliefs, agendas, and actions. They found a weakness in the Christian culture of our country, and they have been exploiting it. Our constitution protects freedom of religion, for true religious citizens. It does not say anything about this right extending to anyone who pretends. But without some sort of verification of true faith in a religion, there is seemingly, nothing which can be done about fakes staking claim in religious freedom rights. And certain wealthy people and other governments have learned to cash in on this, because there is no test of religious conviction, yet lack of such conviction is blatantly obvious, these people and other governments find it quite easy to manipulate and control these false Christians. In doing so they gain access to parts of our society they would not normally be allowed access to. They use this power to their own benefit, not to benefit any true Christians or the religion as a whole. Wolves in sheep's clothing. Jesus was a shepherd of men. Christians are the flock. Most wealthy people do not attain their status by honest, Christ-like means, they stand out like sore thumbs. So they have to find sheep to use, not only as cover, but as a somewhat militant force they can control to suit their wants and needs. They use their money and power to influence and corrupt some, Christian leadership, to in turn influence their disciples. The Public Religion Research Institute stated that Christian nationalists think the government of the United States of America, should declare America a Christian nation, and that God has called all Christians to exercise dominion over all areas of American society. A driving force behind the tax-exempt conservative, and so-called, Christian, charity going by the biblical name of Ziklag, is Lance Walno, who proudly proclaims he is a Christian nationalist. Now, in our own home, the United States of America, what used to seem a harmless minority, has patiently been growing, recruiting, twisting the truth, trying to rewrite history, and make America a Christian nation. One major player in this culture war, is a tax-exempt, charity known now as Ziklag. Here is what we have learned about them from ProPublica. Ziklag's mission is to fuel culture transformation for the kingdom by trying to influence American culture through, arts and media, business, church, education, family, government, science and tech. Part of Ziklag's universal vision is inhabiting and becoming change agents in the existing culture and, discipleship and mentoring of other brothers and sisters in Christ. Matthew Taylor, a senior scholar at the Institute for Islamic, Christian and Jewish Studies, said, it's an outlined program for Christian supremacy. Ziklag's education mountain chair, Peter Boliner, said that Ziklag's goal is to take down the education system as we know it today. Ziklag has given money to lawyer Clutter Mitchell, who had a role in trying to flip elections in the state of Georgia, and now leads a network of election integrity coalitions. These coalitions have been founded using $600,000 donated by Ziklag to the Conservative Partnership Institute. Christians are being told to get out and vote, and that in four years things will be fixed so they will never have to vote again. Far-right conservative, Christians have merged with election deniers. 
Ziklag donors include money profited by companies like Hobby Lobby, Uline, and Jockey. This money is spent trying to influence the 2024 election by using false Christian leaders to get their followers to vote in favor of one particular candidate. Ziklag is using Eagle AI to challenge voters in mass in an attempt to purge voters in battleground, states. Ziklag has demonized certain parts of our population, our fellow citizens, whom Jesus Christ commanded to love. According to the IRS, Ziklag is a 501, C3, tax-exempt charity who is absolutely prohibited from directly or indirectly participating in, or intervening in, any political campaign on behalf of, or in opposition to, any candidate for elective public office. So with everything, stated so far, it may be possible that Ziklag is breaking American law. Therefore they should be stripped of their tax-exempt status, making it more difficult for them to manipulate and control our society. The following are the known operations initiated by Ziklag, and their own brief descriptions of each op. Ziklag, Operation Watchtower, for parental rights, Operation Steeplechase, for church, engagement, Operation Checkmate, for election integrity, this is all why we started our own operation, Anonymous Operation Ziklag, the first op in Anonymous Project White Rouse. In which we ask your help in spreading information about Christian nationalism in general, and the Christian nationalists charity known as Ziklag whose intent is to undermine our republic and its constitution and their serious threat they pose to religious freedom. This is not to be an anti-Christian op, but, rather an op to protect the rights of not only true Christians, but true followers of all religions, from the attempts of control by false Christians. Whether Jew, Muslim, Christian, Buddhist, etc., our constitution, and the freedom of religion it provides, must be defended. Christian nationalism presented, by false or fake Christians is an issue of national security. We need your help spreading information about this op in any way you can. Operation Ziklag, engaged. We are anonymous, we are the White Rose, and we are Legion. We may forgive, but we never forget. Ideas never die. 